Mount Hood in preparation for future missions in space. The research is part of the LASI project, which stands for Legged Autonomous Surface Science in Analog Environments. Cognitive scientist Christina Wilson. Moving forward to missions that are going to occur on our moon, we're going to have humans and robots really for the first time on planetary missions working side by side. And so what the LASI project is doing is really looking forward to that time and considering how should humans and robots collaborate for exploration of planets, particularly where should they go to collect data. The idea is to teach spirits how to cope with difficult and changing terrains in the same way humans do, such as walking from hard or rocky surfaces to soft ground like snow or sand. With every step that the dog robot takes, it's able to sense uh, kind of mechanical resistance with its leg, kind of similar to the way that when we walk on uneven surfaces as humans, and what's very cool is that scientists are interested in that data because it tells us things about how planetary surface formed and how it moves and how it might move in the future. The Lassie project is being led by the University of Southern California with funding from NASA. The team is also comprised of experts from Texas A&M University, Georgia Institute of Technology, Oregon State University, Temple University and the University of Pennsylvania. The group has a two-year, $2 million grant to help NASA put teams of robots working together on the moon. Boston Dynamics is retiring its most famous robot. In its farewell video, Boston Dynamics highlighted some of Atlas's most memorable spills and demonstrated its impressive dexterity. Atlas, the hydraulic humanoid robot that leapt, crawled, and carried, has starred in multiple demonstrations that have been viewed millions of times. But Atlas's retirement isn't the end of the line for the robot. The company has announced a new version of Atlas that is fully electric. The new Atlas is noticeably more trim, and the company says it's stronger and has an increased range of motion. Unfold. <laughs> like she tried to punch me, but let's let's get over that. Technology. But I'm actually here to catch up with an old friend. Hey, Amica. Do you remember meeting me? Which is worse, the agony of never getting the answer or living with an uncomfortable truth? <laughs> well, if you've forgotten me, I think the uncomfortable truth is worse. OK, maybe we're mere acquaintances. I first met Amica two years ago, and I've been obsessed with these robots ever since. Some are cute, some are downright creepy. But I want to know why they're here. Is it to help us or replace us? I'm a friendly robot, but just in case, I have been bolted to the floor, so I don't run away when the museum closes. You've been bolted to the floor. Do you want to kill me? The question interests me, but not enough to answer it. Humanoids have been making big headlines, but it's worth remembering that these machines come in all shapes and sizes. Drones, exoskeletons, autonomous vehicles are all considered robots. Industrial robots are the most common, with at least 3.9 million at work today. Many humanoids, on the other hand, aren't even commercially available. Engineering robots to act like us is incredibly tricky, so why bother? To find out, I'm heading to Japan. Are you the Geminoid or are you the real Professor Ishiguro? I am the real Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro. 
You are not hallucinating. This is a man that builds robots, and that's his identical robotic twin. He has artificial intelligence based on you. Based on the uh, my books, right? So and he knows uh, more than ten of my books and almost all media interviews. You should have interviewed him. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro is a robotics pioneer. He's built over 60 humanoids in the past three decades. He lectures around the world. He even popped up in a Bruce Willis film about robotic twins. I do feel a little uneasy looking straight into his eyes because his eyes are actually very human-like. The professor says he builds these robots to understand what it means to be human. And in turn, by understanding humanity, he's able to make his robots more human-like. Tell me about the Japanese term, sonz is it sonzaikan? Yes. What does it mean? Sonzaikan is, uh, well, uh, in English, it's a kind of a feeling of a presence. You know, even if we close our eyes, we can feel can the... feel uh, someone's presence. Right, presence. So that's one of your goals, to understand more about being human, but also to create this, this sense. Mm -hmm. Long before Professor Ishiguro got to work, us humans had been dreaming of our robotic twins. Some historical sources say Leonardo da Vinci built a mechanical knight that could move its limbs. Then, nearly 300 years later, these moving dolls stunned European royalty. Many say a Czech playwright eventually coined the term robot to describe artificial people who are forced to work. Spoiler alert, no happy endings in this story because the robots rebel and wipe out the human race. Decades later, a Japanese university built the world's first walking robot, and humanoids have been getting faster, steadier, and smoother ever since. The degree of realism impacts how likely we are to accept them. It's a theory called the uncanny valley, which says that if robots look too much like us, we can get creeped out. Our Android, we are carefully designing. We are making the uh, good balance about the appearance and the movement and the voice. Right? So you've beaten Uncanny Valley? I, I, I think so. Look at the hands. Many actually say the professor's robots epitomize the Uncanny Valley. <laughs> it feels like flesh. Regardless, Professor Ishiguro's work pushed boundaries. But now it's time to see how this tech has advanced. Well, Professor. It was a delight. I'd shake your hand, but for a while it might fall off. Look familiar? Engineered Arts unveiled Amica in 2021. The one I met in Dubai can only speak with limited answers, but this Amica contains OpenAI's GPT-4. What's the woman in front of you wearing? Looks like the woman is wearing a bright orange jacket. It's quite a vibrant choice, don't you think? I've had so many weird conversations with robots, but this is by far the most intelligent but weird conversation I've had. A little bit of weirdness keeps things interesting, don't you think? Large language models are revolutionizing robotics, making conversations seem more natural than ever before. But there are still a few kinks to work out. I'm here to help them provide assistance. All right, you can stop listening now, please. Going to sleep. Back to sleep she goes. She does interrupt at the most interesting <laughs> times. Yeah. So gauging what the flow of a conversation is is actually a really tricky problem. And at the moment, Amica's like the worst ever party guest. So these are very subtle things in human interaction. Other subtleties that make Amica seem so lifelike are its facial expressions. Creepy smiles can be quite the conversation start, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I do. Personal favorite. Engineered Arts plans to build around 30 full-bodied amicas this year. But other companies hope to mass-produce humanoids in coming years. So, when will these robots actually start living? Watch this H1 bipedal robot do a flip without the use of hydraulics. So how did it do it? 
The company Unitree used a reinforcement learning simulation to train its H1 bipedal robot to perform the flip. The robot's able to rely on sophisticated electric joint motors. It's got three degrees of freedom at the hip and each leg and one at the knee and another at the ankle. Let's do the numbers here. The H1 bipedal is 71 inches tall. It's 104 pounds, can carry up to 66 pounds of payload, and now can launch itself into a backflip. Well, while this is a cool party trick, the use of a backflip is pretty limited, but shows the possibility of complicated movements. Its other skills are indeed practical. It can do speed walking, stair climbing, a standing jump, and of course, dancing. From robotics company 1X, and in collaboration with OpenAI, has been trained to do something most of us absolutely dread. Just a month ago, Eve's capabilities of picking up items and self-charging were impressive, but today, we're witnessing a totally new skill. Now Eve is taking on a task we all loathe, laundry folding. Even though Eve doesn't have hands and instead uses claw grippers, it gets the job done with precision and care. Eve's handling of the delicate task puts a spotlight on the incredible potential of AI-powered robotics.